Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. If you want to skip the intro, there will be a timestamp below. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general, meaning they're not going to resonate every time. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. I like to say if you can feel it, then it's most likely your message. So if it hits you, okay? If the message does resonate, there is a link below in the description box for the extended version. That's how you get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings. There's also information below for the ritual kits that I offer for personal readings, the decks that I use, the tarot course offered, it's all linked below. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's jump right in. So this message is going to be for Cancer's Broken Heart Reading for the month of December. And in this message, Cancer, we're first going to tap into the energy surrounding you. We'll look into the energy surrounding the person and what's challenging this. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the energy here, Cancer. And in this portion of the message, we'll look into the next move. Anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of. Where this is all headed and advice guidance moving forward. I'll clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So Cancer, let's first tap into the energy surrounding you for the month of December. Please and thank you. Most important message here for Cancer Spirit. What do my Cancerian friends need to see the energy surrounding cancer in the present moment spirit please and thank you you feel a disconnect here between you and a person i feel here cancer you're trying to distract yourself with work there is some energy that something here that's hidden and i feel like this energy is about to be revealed We'll clarify all of this here in a minute. Let's look into the energy surrounding your person here, Cancer, in the present moment for the month of December. The energy surrounding Cancer's person, spirit, please and thank you. What does Cancer need to see? I feel like this person has a way with words. This person is probably very direct with their communication. Um, may even say things harsh, harshly. I feel also there is a toxicity when it comes to this person, when it comes to this energy cancer. And I honestly feel here that there's some sort of an addiction that they're working through. Whether this is gambling, whether this is overindulgence in a substance, or maybe drinking, going out with friends too much, this energy needs to be addressed. We're going to clarify all of this here in a minute, but first let's get into the challenge for you for the month of December. The challenge here for Cancer. Mm. So Cancer, what's hidden here... To be honest with you, how I see this coming out is your person is dealing with some sort of legal matter. And I don't feel like they're expressing this to you. They're in some sort of injustice. The justice card in the reverse. There's some sort of legal matter that they're working through. Now, for some of you, this is going to be revealed, whether you find out about their court day or something happens to where they have to let you know the business. This isn't going to be easy to handle this information. I do feel like you are willing to work with this person, work through this energy. 
but I will say, Cancer, you need to be mindful of your own energy first, okay? So pay attention to your own stability, making sure that your bills and what you need taken care of is taken care of first. This person comes secondary. Let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles, Two of Cups in the reverse. I do feel like they've walked away and they may reach out and need your help okay they may reach out and need your help five of cups ten of wands three of pentacles this person is definitely coming forward as going to reach out even though this may hard for them this may be hard for them to reach out and ask for your help i feel like they're going to need that they're going to need that cushion let's clarify this queen of swords knight of swords devil energy for cancer's person please and thank you now a lot of you have been in a commitment with this person for some time and you're not willing to walk away you want to work through this situation with them, but you need to pay attention to your own stability first, Cancer. You're not going to be able to help this person if you're not in a stable position yourself, okay? There is some sort of injustice. So for some of you, this person may have to experience some jail time or do some rehab. And this may be what they're needing your help through. Now, I know this is a very specific message, so this is only going to resonate for a few of you, okay? This isn't going to resonate for everyone. However, Cancer, this message, need, somebody needs to hear it. And in the present moment, you are in a stable position. Yes. What this person is going through could throw you off balance. So be mindful of that, okay? dive a little bit deeper into the energies if you guys are finding the messages helpful or resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated it does help with the growth and getting the message out so thank you guys so much for that you are all amazing first one that's happened to the energy of the next move here cancer for you for this person in this energy spirit what is the next move in the present energy this person is going to reach out to you and ask you for your help and I feel like this is going to take a toll on them cancer it's taken them a lot of courage to come forward and ask for help so be mindful of that try to kill this person's ego however you are being called to put your stability first okay can always be a shoulder for this person to lean on, a shoulder for this person to cry on. Um, but when it comes to money, finances, financial situations, you need to be mindful. So what's hidden here, spirit, in the present energy for cancer? Anything hidden that cancer needs to be made aware of? Let that come to the forefront of the reading. Okay, and this is possibly because of whatever they're experiencing. But there is an energy of emotionally unavailable. Trying to exude control over the situation. Trying to control the outcome here. Okay, I do feel like this person has been watching, has been waiting, has been planning a way back in. Cancer, to get your help. You may be the only person that they perceive can help them with this legal matter. Okay? That is, there is that energy. 
and you may be able to give them some legal advice to help them through okay but i do feel here you need to be mindful that this person is really in an energy of just trying to grab for straws anybody that they can help and even though you want to help this person you need to be mindful of the energy cancer this person is only looking out for their best interests it's exactly what i see here okay so where is this all headed and this is why you need to be mindful of your energy you don't want delays in your own progress trying to help this person and that's exactly i feel like this person is going to come in and they're going to drain this well dry okay they're going to drain this well dry because they're just trying to keep things on a friendly manner. They may perceive to you like this is going to be whatever you pretend or whatever you think in your mind you want things to be, however you want this to work. They're gonna tell you exactly what you, they think you wanna hear to get what they want out of the situation and then they're going to leave. Ask yourself, Cancer, if they would have reached out and asked for your help if it weren't for this injustice that they're experiencing in the present moment. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward in this energy, Cancer. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended version, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies. We'll see what comes out there. We'll look at the other influences involved. Is this really worth it? And the outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below. Cancer. 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 Hermit, five of wands in the reverse with the seven of wands. So you need to take a break. And I'm not saying block this person. I'm not saying end this by all means because I feel like that's not what you're going to do anyway. I do, however, feel like you need to take some space and get clear on your personal next move. What's going to be the next move? that's in the best interest of cancer. Also, how much are you willing to help this person without draining yourself or your finances, if at all, right? Because in this energy, this person is grasping for straws. They do need help. I do see that. They do need your help. Um, but but are you in the energy? Are you in the position to help them? And if so, perfect. That's okay. But you need to get clear on how much, how much you're willing to help, right? And don't put yourself out trying to make this person comfortable because whatever it is that they're going through, um, they're going to experience a loss. Nobody's going to be able to save them from this. This is a lesson that they have to endure on their own cancer. And by you catching their fall, it could hinder the growth process. So let's pull a soul journey message to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. So, Cancer, your soul journey message coming out for your reading is change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. There's a certain comfort in the idea of living a life without surprises. The status quo has an appeal, but you will never learn or grow if your circumstance stays the same. Everybody wants life to be better, but that 
requires change. You've chosen to incarnate in the physical dimension called Earth because of the myriad of opportunities. If you don't take advantage of them, what was the point? Staying within your comfort zone is overrated. With change comes transformation and with transformation comes evolution. Stop viewing change as good or bad because all change nourishes your soul. Don't equate it with a lack of control because life happens and it's supposed to happen. You can direct how it plays out and you always have the power to accept a change that redirects your path. Cancer. So what I get from all of this is I honestly feel like this is a test from the universe for you to put your foot down and stand your ground and understand that it's okay to help people and want to help people but you always have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself first and foremost. Also, don't go above and beyond for somebody who wouldn't do, have done the same for you. Cancer. Your blessing message here. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and you express your own divinity by being alive and by loving yourself and others. Express your own divinity. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Cancer, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.